One of my favorite types of vehicle is one that has two natures, something that's good at one thing and is good at another thing, or it is it at least okay at both. And today I have an extreme example of that. We're not gonna dive into the meat of what it's like to drive one because we've covered that on this channel before. What I'm talking about is this vehicle that is currently acting as a tripod for my camera because there's a tent on the roof of an electric Porsche wagon. The tent retails for north of $7,000, which in the land of Porsche pricing isn't anything to be shocked at, even though it's most likely a rebranded iCamper SkyCamp 2.0 Mini, which is on sale right now since iCamper has its 3.0 tent on the market now. Regardless, I can say that this thing is supremely easy to set up, even more so if you have any experience at all with a rooftop tent, but it's fine if you don't and the inside space is pretty damn cozy. There's way more room in here compared to my own go fast super light, but that's a different tent with a very different mission and I love it. The supplied sleep padding is comfortable. The ladder is easy to climb and you have more than enough space to stretch out in this thing. Do I think Porsche will sell a bunch of them? No. Is it cool that Porsche is offering it? Absolutely. Car camping is a blast and it would be amazing if a Porsche owner took their car off on an adventure. Even if it's one with a price tag well over the $200,000 mark, like this Taycan Turbo S Cross Turismo you see here. After all, there's nothing like running down a fire road with as much as 750 horsepower and 774 pound-feet of torque on tap. Yes, range is gonna take a hit with this thing over your head, and I would need way more time with the car to figure out what exactly that hit entails. Hmm, seems a good reason for Porsche to let me borrow one of these for more time, right? That's crazy, and I both hate it and love it, and it's just a weirdo machine. That was the car that was at the LA Auto Show. Porsche was kind enough to let me borrow it, and it's gonna make an appearance at the upcoming Autopia 2099 show, which by the time this comes out, will have already passed. The reason I hate it is because I don't think every vehicle out there needs a friggin' tent on the roof. The reason I love it is because it's ridiculous. It's a Turbo S. That's a $216,000 car as tested, not counting the price of the tent, which with its Porsche branding on it is gonna cost ridiculous amounts of money. So you're not gonna be you know, running across Moab in this thing, but you can take fire roads, you can take good trails, you can have some fun. You can get out and explore and do it comfortably and fun, and then have a nice place to sleep. Cause that is a really nice tent inside on the roof of that thing. It doesn't have a lot of road noise on the road, which is crazy to me how they manage to do that, because usually all that stuff above your head is going to cause a lot of noise. But it's well engineered. It looks good. It's, I mean, it looks ridiculous driving down the road, but it's a Porsche that you can take camping, and it's kind of amazing. 